you guys. Today we'll look at uh, lead code problem number nine. Uh, the title of the problem is palindrome number. It's a very simple problem. You know, uh, given an input, say suppose you're given an input uh, uh, integer one to one, you have to return whether this integer is a palindrome or not. Or not. In this case, you have the output is true. And why it is true? Because you know, one to one. Uh, if you read it from the right hand side, you know, when you start reading from one to one, so you write it. It is again the same number, and hence it is a palindrome. Let's look at another example. The other input is minus one to one, right? When you look at when you read it from the right hand side, what will happen is one, two, one, and then minus will come here. It's not even a valid number, and hence it is not a palindrome. And look at look at the final sample, uh, which is ten. And when you uh, read it from on this side, it will become one zero one, and then it is not a palindrome because these two values are not same, right? Now let's look at what are the ways you can solve this problem. So this problem can be solved in many ways. Uh, we'll discuss all of them, uh, right? Um, first is a string-based approach, right? And a string-based approach, what you can do is given any number, say one, two, three, two, one, right? Uh, what you can do is the first step, convert, because this is given to you as an integer. So the data type of this thing is integer, basically, right? So you can convert the string to string. Right. To convert a integer to a string, what you will have to do is you can pass. You might have to use a string library, to a string library, or something of that sort. Or you might have to do it, you know, one by one. So you can convert to a string, and then what you can do is the second step is reverse the string. Again, you know, you can do by hand, like one by one, or you could use uh, some function called as reverse or something, which is there in the string library. And once you have reversed the string, the output which you got. You can just compare that to the original string, basically. And if they are same, then it is a palindrome. If they are not same, this is not a palindrome. This is a string-based approach. Now, suppose you give this approach to the interviewer, right? The interviewer might say that, hey, uh, you know, to solve this problem, you are not allowed to use, uh, you know, either the inbuilt string library functions or even converting to string is not allowed, basically. This is a possibility which the interviewer might put in front of you, right? In that case, what you can do is, so if you are allowed, if you're not allowed to convert this into a string, then you know, let's just look at humanly how you do. So from a human perspective, you just compare like you know one and one are same, two and two are same, three. Is, you know, essentially, if it's odd number, then the third number doesn't matter. Basically, it could be anything because it's still a palindrome whether you read it from left side or the right hand side, right? The same number. Now, uh, one way to so one way you can solve this problem is that you know you you know you somehow break it into individual uh, elements one two three two one and then you put a pointer over here and you put a pointer over here and you start comparing, right? You can do this and once you have compared up till here and everything matches, then it is a palindrome. Otherwise, it is not a palindrome, right? This will be slightly complicated. Uh, because you have to put two pointers and then you have to kind of keep reduce keep advancing one side and the uh, keep reducing the index of the other pointer and it is going to be slightly difficult to do what the most basic thing you can do immediately you know once you get the input immediately reverse the whole instead of you know putting two pointers and comparing them what you can do is reverse the whole number simple and once you have reversed the whole number and whatever you get, suppose the X was your initial number and once you have reversed it, you get Y, you know, after reversal. And if X is equal equals to Y, then it is a palindrome, otherwise it's not a palindrome. Now, so the second strategy is reverse. Reverse the number. Reverse the number, right? That is the second strategy. Now, a follow-up question to this could also be that what if, uh, you know, your number is a uh, number which on reversal goes beyond the integers uh, range. So, for instance, if I put something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, like a really huge number, you know. Now, if right now this number is smaller, right, but if I reverse it, it becomes 9, 1, 2, 3, sorry, it becomes 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now this number is a much larger number than this number, you know, because this starts at one, this starts at nine, and this number could be greater than the int max. When I say int max, what I mean by that is that 
whatever is the maximum value allowed to be stored in an integer variable it could be greater than that and if that is the case then this strategy will fail basically then in that case the only option left is the third option which you were doing initially which is you know uh, just put two pointers on this side and this side and then so basically having with two pointers You know, you can use that and then come keep comparing them until you meet in between, and then uh, you know you can declare whether the number is palindrome or not. And there is another problem in Lewis code which is uh, called reverse a number, and there we will look at in case you have to still reverse a number, in case you have to still reverse a number, how you can reverse the number, uh, you know, while keeping uh, while making sure that it is not going beyond int max. Because when you're reversing number, you have to divide by 10 and then add the remainder and so on. And uh, that operation can make a number go beyond integer max. And how to, how to make sure that it doesn't happen is something which we'll cover in the uh, other episode, which is reverse a number. And I'll make sure that I'll put the link in the description for that. Okay. Thank you.